Welcome back to I Cook, She Drinks. So what we're gonna do, everyone, we're gonna test out a few beers and uh, we wanna put them out there. So we are from Nova Scotia, Canada, and one of the big things about our heritage is our beer. Um, we have a lot of vineyards, we have a lot of uh, apple orchards. So this beer here, it's called No Boats on Sunday. Um, this um, is made from, hold on. No, no. This, no, hold on. No, no. Hold on. Do you understand? Okay, I don't understand where the whole we go. no boats on Sunday comes from. If I had a boat, I think Sunday would be the one day of the week I'd actually want to be on it. I don't understand. I'm excited to try it and I support local, but what's up with the title No Boats on Sunday? You know what? I actually have an answer for that and you knew that would happen. So <laughs> no boats on Sunday. You have an answer for everything. I do. So <laughs> that's what happens when you're married. Some, someone's always right and someone's not mm. usually right. Yeah. So basically No Boats on Sunday is actually, it's made of fermented Nova Scotia apples. And this beer was actually put in place and made so that it would remind everyone based on our Halifax heritage and Nova Scotia heritage was that people should relax and take time out of one day of the week. It doesn't necessarily mean no boats, but what it is, it's a take time away from everything else so you can relax and no boats is a representation to get off the boat, relax, stop working, since most people here were fishing. Because back in the day, the boat. boats so, were not right. like relaxing like they are for us. It was yeah. more like working, right. fishermen. Okay, okay, so again, I'll give you that one. So again, let me finish and start the review, I could have explained that well, before Well, I said I wanted to talk about that. That was the only reason I grabbed it because I was like, what's up with this name? Uh, that'll be a good review. And again, we're going to open this and get to it right now. Pass me the bottle opener. Okay, this is my Las Vegas Maybe, bottle open opener. I got her in Vegas. I love her. Okay. Sometimes she doesn't work, though. No, she See? always works for me. Look at that. Yeah, I'll pour it. Why? Because I don't want you to foam it all up. I did so good on the last one. You did. I love this one. Okay, that's good. It won't foam very much. Because this is no, a cider. No, it's a cider, right? And there was a couple different options. They had a cranberry... Um, but we went with the 100% Nova Scotia cider, so. Apples. Yeah, and you know what, where we live, we're really close to the valley and the apple orchards and. Fill her up, don't go half ass here. But then I gotta, I gotta finish it all. Yeah, why not? Slow. Now, the first thing I notice is very floral. You can smell oh, that yeah. apple flavor. It's like perfect, you like. There's a bit of effervescence, but not too much. And, guys, yeah, cheers. Let's see what the initial flavor is. It's Sunday, cheers to drinking on Sunday. Mm. Oh, that's really good. So to me, I think this is a great drink. This would be a really great drink to relax on a deck in the summertime. You know what? Even adding, if you watched the previous episode or I can't it was a previous or post episode. Anyway, one of the episodes they did on icebergs, I think this would have been an awesome choice mm. to put a margarita mix inside to make an iceberg drink. Oh, that the, would be good. Yeah, the apple flavor is very, very sweet. Um, it's not overpowering. And the best thing about it is, I, I feel like it's, um, you know, it's, it's a lot like a carbonated apple juice. But it has a hint of like wine in there or something. I don't know. It has it's, alcohol. It, yeah, which is what I like because I don't like apple juice. Because if I'm not drinking alcohol, I'm drinking water because, you know, it's a waste of calories. All right, guys. But anyway, guys, this is really good and it's not too sweet. I don't like sweet. So that for me is the biggest thing. It's not too sweet. So let's see what's next. No boats. Definitely pretty mm. good. I recommend it. Do I cook she drinks? Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a really good seafood appetizer. It's very simple. What we're gonna do, we have some scallops, some shrimp, a little bit of cooked lobster. It's already been pulled and shredded.